So guys, today a new product is releasing and it is, I guess you could say an interesting product. Why do I say that? It's because it's a Pokemon tin that has given us four promos. Now, each of these promos kind of features one of the new legendaries in the Paradox form, uh, either Raging Bolt, Gouging Fire, Iron Valiant, or I want to say uh, Iron Boulder. And while in a lot of ways that's kind of cool because it is cool to get new promos of these Pokemon, it just feels like overkill with products lately. I don't know if I'm in the like unpopular opinion field with this, but I feel like Pokemon is just shoving out product after product after product that kind of has like a promo card and that promo card just ends up being a regular EX and it kind of just feels like overkill. If you guys follow Poke Beach, Poke Guardian or any of those, you've kind of seen it. But at the same time, as somebody who likes to open up Pokemon cards and just enjoys the hobby, I do like to open up every product, at least one of it. So today I have one of the new tins. I chose the Raging Bolt tin because the Raging Bolt tin is the most playable of the four cards, at least as of the time of recording. Obviously within the next few months, a card could get revealed that absolutely breaks Gouging Fire, um, Iron, um, the Valiant and Iron Boulder. Those cards could absolutely become broken in the future, but for now, we have this. Now, I believe tins right now either retail for $26.99 or $29.99, but we're going to go ahead and say $24.99 for the price on this tin. The main reason why I'm going to stick with the $24.99 price tag is simply because of the fact that the $24.99 price tag is easy to find. You can find these tins for pretty affordable prices. And I just want to kind of review what comes in these tins and what comes in these uh, products and see if it's worth the price. So first and foremost, you do get a Raging Bolt promo. This is Raging Bolt promo number 145. Pretty cool card. The artwork's not too bad for a Planeta card. I'm not a big fan of the uh, CG cards, but that one's not bad. And then you get your five booster packs. Now the five booster packs is a pretty solid selection. I've already seen this before recording what the five booster packs are. So I'm gonna put this tin in the background and kind of talk about the five booster packs. So first and foremost, oop, bump the camera. You got Twilight Masquerade, second Twilight Masquerade, a Temporal Forces, a Paradox Rift, and an Obsidian Flames. As somebody who loves the Scarlet and Violet era, I think this is a pretty solid pack selection. Now, most people would probably say, swap this out for Paldea Evolved. And I totally, I can totally get that. But I'm a big defender of Obsidian Flames and I'm happy with this pack selection. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see if we can get anything good out of this tin. See if this tin can provide us any sort of Fuego or Fire. All right, so our first pack is Obsidian Flames. The last time I opened up one of these tins, I pulled a Charizard on uh, that video hits on stream. So you can catch that. So we're going to hope that we can hit that again. That would be nice. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just going to get a Houndstone in this one. That's fine. Sometimes you just aren't going to hit anything big from an Obsidian Flames pack. And that is totally fine. Um, but I'm hoping that with the 10 and 5 packs, we can at least get 1 to 2 hits. 2 hits preferably. But if we get 1, I would prefer 1 big hit. So we got Dark Energy. Now this is Paradox Rift. I know there's a few cards in Paradox that are pretty nice to pull. Um, my biggest chase out of this set... In all honesty, it's probably either Iron Valiant or Altaria. I would personally prefer Altaria. I know Groudon's a pretty salt-worthy chase card, but I have my personal favorites. Unfortunately, we just got a Turo scenario. That's a pretty solidly playable trainer card, so that's not bad. And then a Mousehold EX. I will take Mousehold. Mousehold's a pretty solid uh, Pokemon. In my opinion, I really like Mousehold. I was a big fan of Mousehold when I played the... Uh, game so mousehold was on my team i'll take it now for temporal forces i really really want one of the sir trainers from this set any of the sir trainers would be nice so let's see if we can get one we got frost moth that's okay knocked out i love this artwork such a cool looking card and knocked out if you guys don't know and stellar crown has got a beautiful etb promo so knocked out getting a lot of love lately iron hands Heavy Baton, Mist Energy, another Mist Energy, Illuminati confirmed. 
Unfortunately, nothing there. Just a croconaw. And then a gouging fire. Not the gouging fire I wanted, but I will take a gouging fire EX nonetheless. It does kind of fit the theme with our iron boulder. All right, so we got two hits so far. Unfortunately, nothing big. But Twilight Masquerade is coming up. I would love to pull another Carmine. I kind of sold mine because of fund reasons. I would love to pull another Carmine. If not a Carmine, Alana's uh, aid or a Perrin would be nice. Those are my three chase cards for the set. But Carmine is my primary chase once again. Eevee would also be nice. We might have something back here. It looks like we might. Maybe it's just a hollow. Yeah, it's just a hollow, but it gave the vibe of a foil. So unfortunately, that Twilight Masquerade pack did not have anything. So, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see. We got a Darkness Energy. Twilight Masquerade. Let's see if we can get some fire. Sunkern. Abracadabra. Root Bonnet. Community Center. Iron Bundle. So we got Ariados. Okay. Unfortunately, no IR or SIR. But it looks like we're going to get three EXs. So better pull rates than what I was expecting. When I open up any product that has only a few packs, I never expect anything big. So I would say that's better pull rates than you could expect. But once again, this is kind of in all the ballpark and all scheme of things. This is bulk EXs. These are EXs that um, I saw the gouging fire. I don't think I have this in a personal collection, but I have these. So for the most part, they're not really like anything that I was really seeking after. But that is what you get when you open up uh, five packs. Now, going back to the value of this product. Tins with five packs are not a bad value if you can get them for like $25 or less. Because roughly, if you take away a couple of dollars for the promo, you pay $4.49 a pack or less, which is MSRP. So it's not a bad value per pack if you can get the right price. But it all depends on whether or not you can find the right price. I think at full MSRP, I think tins are just the poor way to go. Because I always feel like tins are just a little bit more expensive than other products. Like if you want a good value for a price per pack, buying loose booster packs, buying three pack blisters, or even buying a um, something like, let's say... A collection box a, a premium collection or something like that might just give you a little bit more value than buying a tin but if you can find these tins on sale if you can find them on a discount i actually think they're worth it it's a pretty solid pack selection i don't think that's a terrible pack selection if i had to give this a number rating i give this product a solid seven out of ten just because the promos are unique they're not just taking gouging fire from the main set and throwing gouging fire like this in the tin they're actually giving you an exclusive art promo which is always nice so that's a little bit of a plus side especially with a lot of the products that pokemon has released recently like the upcoming greninja upc features the actual ex from the set it doesn't give you an exclusive art promo so anytime a product can give us an exclusive art promo i kind of bump it up a few points than what it normally would be because i think an exclusive art promo is great but for the most part i think this product's a pretty decent buy i don't think it's a great buy in the sense of going to walmart and buying it off the shelf pay, uh, paying your 30 dollars for it to get five packs i don't think it's worth it there but i think if you were able to find your local lgs or your online store that's selling it for under MSRP, it could be a nice little buy if you want to open up some quick packs, maybe get yourself a nice promo, and just have a little bit of fun with Pokemon cards. So it's not a bad product, but uh, there's definitely better products out there. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of these new tins? Are they worth it? Are they not worth it? What do you think about Pokemon also releasing four tins out of time instead of the typical two or three? kind of odd right i think that's a little bit strange it makes uh sealed cases instead of being six sealed uh sealed in a case i think it's eight in a case now so it's a little bit strange it's a little bit odd but it's still nice nonetheless to have a variation of tens of different pokemon so that way if you were buying a 10 off the store shelves you could buy your favorite pokemon in this case i chose raging a uh, raging bolt because out of the four available i think raging bolt is the coolest of the four i do like gouging fire a lot but raging bolt just kind of won me over a bit. Anyways, that's it for today's video. As always, guys, remember to keep it classy and stay awesome.